Hello! And welcome to learning how to use the website Code Combat with Alex Lanning and Judd Moss. I'm Alex Lanning. And I'm Judd Moss. And Judd's going to be doing the typing here. I'm going to talk you through what's happening. I'm here. We're going to CodeCombat.com. And we've already logged in on my account. If you want to log in, you just go here and it's... But right now we're going to play. We just hit the play button and it's loading. And here we go. We're going to start with the first level just to show you guys. It's called Dungeon and Ship Guard. And this is really what the basics of what's going on in the game. Um, we're going to use Captain Anya Weston as our character. We're going to use and we're going to use the Python coding language. And so then we're going to click next. And hit play. And here we go. It's loading. Alright, start level. <laughs> and so here, we already beat a level playing like ourselves, but we're going to delete it just to show you guys what happens. Judd's doing that right now. And here, Judd, go back. Cool, so now, what we need to do is, and the objective of this level is to get to this gem right here, all the way and to the so bottom right. Our skills we've acquired so far are move down, move left, move right, and move up. Then the other three skills will come on when you get further in the game. So in order to move right, you have to do self dot move right. Don't worry about the other things in the bottom right now. They're irrelevant. So right now, Judd's typing in the command in order to move right. Self that move capital R right and then the parentheses at the end. Um, for the, the parentheses is there in order to make sure the programming language understands that it's a complete command and there's nothing else to the command. Where's Ava? Alright, we're gonna hit run just to make sure it works. And if it doesn't work, you you can just you can always just fix it and then it'll work. See, ours doesn't work because we did up instead of down. Now we know that, so now we'll say self dot move down. All right, as you can see, just fixing it there, and we're gonna run it this time to make sure it works. All right, going down to the right, and we're completed the objective, and we collected the gem. Should work. Now we're gonna hit submit. This is our final project. We're turning it in. And here, going down, right, down, and then right, collect the gem, and that works. It is a problem. And then you hit continue to go on to the next level. The next level we're going to show you is how to loop. Um, essentially what looping is, is it creates a loop of the command you enter after the loop command. Jet's going to hit next. We're still using Python. It's loading here. Jet's going to hit the start level button. And here we go. Jet, you can go ahead and delete that up there. Because as, as I said earlier, we already completed the game. And we're just trying to show you guys how to do it. So what the loop does is it repeats the... It repeats the move the code you've already selected, and so you, and you always have to add loop first, and you always have to put a semicolon after. The reason the semicolon's there is to know that you are looping the commands after the loop button, not before or anything like that. And you're gonna do self dot move right, self dot move up. Self dot move to the right again, and self dot move down. That looks like the basic uh, shape of a maze, and we're gonna, that's going to loop. And now Judd's going to run it, and hit the play button, and it should run, and it'll loop several times. We're collecting all the gems. Here's the first one. Going on to the second. Got the second. And now I'm moving on to the third. Of oh. right. 
and down. And that's how you use a loop in Code Combat. Jet's going to submit it. And since we already know what's going to happen, we just watch what's, what happens. We can hit the skip button in the bottom right. Now it's going to show that we completed the level, and we're going to hit the continue button. The next level we're going to show is called the Bolt in the Dark, and it deals with how to self-attack, because there are munchkins that are going to try and kill you. That's one of the commands we mentioned before that were relevant at the time, but now it's called self.attack, parentheses, and then you're going to type in who the enemy is. In this case, um, it's just called enemy. Oh, never mind. There are several um, several ogres. Um, one named Lacos, and the other one, not sure what's named. Luigi. The other oh. one's named Luigi. All right. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna need to move right in order to attack the enemy. So you're gonna do self that move right. Then you're going to need to move right again. I mean, sorry, you're not going to need to move right. You're going to need to move up. And then that's when you attack. In order to attack, you have to do self dot attack. It's down here. Self dot attack. And then in the parentheses, you, write, you do quotation mark. Remember the quotations are very important, otherwise the there's no you the object to attack. You get the name of the munchkin and it's Lakos. So we're gonna enter that. Lakos. Quotation, and quotation and then parentheses. And in order to kill the the munchkin you need to attack twice. So we're gonna attack again. We're gonna hit self dot attack. Parentheses, quotation, Lakos, and quotation, and end parentheses. And so we're just going to run that to see how it works. And it does work because we are able to kill the munchkin. So next we have to get down. We're going to enter the command self.move down, which will give us the ability to move down. Um, and then we're going to want to move right again in order to get into the area with the other other ogre or goblin or whatever. And then in order to attack the other one, you're going to need to do self. Dot attack and then it's name, parentheses, quotations, and it's name. name. This one is Vuji. Self. Dot. Parentheses, quotations, the name. End quotations and parentheses. Again, you're gonna have to attack twice, and this one's different from the other one because this one shoots like bow and air, shoots like uh, arrows at you. So you're gonna see that. And so we're just gonna run this through to see where we get to. And so it kills the first munchkin, and now it's going on to the second one. And see how it's throwing arrows, and we're going to kill that one. And then now we, have to, now we have to get down again. We have to complete the so, objective to, to grab the, the gem, as it says in the top left. It says our goals are incomplete, as we have not collected the gem yet. So now we have to self that move down. And then self dot move right. And that will take us to the diamond. And we'll complete the level. So we're going to run it through to see it. You can also, mid th midway through, in the top left, it says whether or not you completed the goals. If it says success, then you completed the goals. Yeah, it says it right up here. It says ogres must die, 22, and grant the gem. And then if you complete it, it says success. And so now we'll submit it. We're going to watch it just to show you what it looks like. And he's going to move right. He's going to move up and he's going to attack the enemy. Self, remember that self.attack. 
Move right again, up again, and hit self dot attack and attack the other enemy. And then it's gonna move down and grab the diamond, and that is code combat. Thanks for watching.